Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for another like iPhone video, but my camera just like does not sit well in the car. So today we're gonna be doing like a little coffee talk. Um, I have my coffee and I wanna kinda sit and talk with you guys about good stuff, bad stuff, funny stuff. Like I just wanna talk to you guys, okay? And I wanna do more of these on my channel because I don't know if you guys have realized or like paid attention. But I've said before on my channel that, like, I feel like I don't really, like, talk to you guys. Like, I just show you what I do, and it's, like, boring, and, like, I don't really talk to you guys. So, I want to start, like, uploading, like, more vid videos more frequently, just, like, talking to you guys, right? Um, so, yeah. The first topic we're going to talk about today. Hold on. Let me get some coffee before this one. Okay. I genuinely think social media is like rotting my brain like I think my phone is rotting my brain I can't like and I think on top of that not um doing school right now I like I am like I am a use like my brain is like I can't it's not working like I can't remember certain things. I can't remember, like, how to spell. I'm getting really bad at, like, trying to articulate, like, my feelings. And, like, um, like, I can't focus. It's hard for me to even focus on, like, 30-second TikToks now, which is, like, crazy. Like, I think it's really, really messing up my brain the amount of time I spend on social media. So, like, we gotta fix that, you guys. Like, it's like scary I feel like I literally am like 80 years old and my brain is like rotting away like I'm serious like it was it, I realized it last night um it's it was really bad but um my plan is to obviously spend less time just like mindlessly scrolling on social media and on top of that, I'm just going to try to write more. Um, I have this book, actually, that's like 101 writing prompts. I think I'm just going to start writing in it every day again. Or just finding random writing prompts and like writing it down in my journal. And write as like much as I can. Um, because I feel like that would help, obviously, be able to articulate my thoughts better. And on top of that, like get back on track with like basic spelling. Like, oh my god to explain the cringe to you the other day I was writing like rest in peace and I spelt it like peace like pieces instead of peace and I like I realized it immediately and I was like oh my god this is the type of cringe that I would cringe at other like I can't be like that I can't be that dumb so yeah that's that gotta get that down check also, I was thinking about, okay, have you guys ever gone to get, like, your lashes done, your nails done, or, like, your hair done? For me, it was when I would go to get my lashes done. <laughs> and she would, like, take a picture of your lashes after she's done them, right? And, like, it would make me feel so good. I'd be like, oh, my God, like, she thinks my lashes look so good. And then it would never be posted on, like, their lash page or their hair page. <laughs> Why did that shit, like, trigger me? Like, like okay like really like it turned out that bad like it, it was actually worse than you thought like what the hell like and I know for a fact like well I don't know for a fact but I don't think like lash techs do it in like a bad way at all I just think like um I don't know like I, I don't think it's a big deal to them at all but for like I feel like for me it's like what the hell did I do wrong I haven't gotten my lashes done in like literally like ew I almost like spit all out um in like literally forever I do miss having them but the thing with like lash extensions like for me they only looked good for so long until they just like didn't look good anymore like do you know what I mean like I was obsessed with them when I first would get them and then like it'd be like a week later I'd be like okay they look like shit now like <sighs> and I think that's like my fault because I like that's like the thing also it's like fake tan like, I lead such an active lifestyle. It's, like, active, and then I'm, I'm in, like, running, sweating, or I'm in water. Like, you guys know this. Like, so, like, you know, I, when I would go to the gym and I'd sweat a lot, like, I'd, I'd want to go in the sauna after, and those would, like, fuck up my lashes, obviously. Like, ugh. Why is that shit so hard? Um, but I went off topic with that one. That's not even what I ended up wanting to say. I'm just saying any lash techs out there or hair like anyone who like you know 
beauty services like that can you please tell me why like you would take a photo and then like not post it please <laughs> um yeah uh what else was i gonna talk about with you guys mm. so today's mother's day which i like need to get to my mom's house soon <laughs> but i didn't want to talk to you guys first um i am just like so blessed to be in a family where like gifts are just like not a big deal and like there's not i don't think there's anything wrong with like families that are like that like um like uh, like i think about my mom and my dad right like growing up they would get us the best gifts and great gifts right but the pressure was never on like me or my brother to like get then get them like crazy gifts when we got older like they're very much not like gift people they're definitely like like their love language is definitely like words of affirmation like I could get my mom the best most meaningful present ever and like probably she wouldn't cry but like if I give her a card and just like tell her I'm like truly feeling like she will cry and I do these homemade sometimes I'll do homemade cards sometimes I'll do like I'll do store-bought cards um either way they both are like like and my mom just like eats this shit up so i just wrote happy mother's day and i wrote her like this long ass thing on the inside and i'm telling you she will cry she cries every single time i give her a card I, if i literally just say like mom you're the best mom ever she will start crying like i love her um love that woman so like it's so nice like not having that pressure because it's just like i don't know it's just like is anyone else's family like that where like it's just like are not a big deal like I don't know like I would kill myself if I had a mom where like there was so much pressure to get her like if I had like a bougie like ass mom oh my god like that would be really scary for me <laughs> um okay another thing I want to talk about I think it's not as bad lately like I think on people people on TikTok are starting to talk about like like you know there's always this hype move to LA move to LA right and I think there's more people on TikTok now and, like, social media being, like, guys, like, no. Like, <laughs> LA's not this, like, crazy magical place. Like, hello? Um, I'm, like, like, okay. Okay, honestly, in California in general, I live in California, if you guys didn't know. I don't like to say it in a lot of videos, but I think I'm allowed to say it here. I do live in California. Not LA, though. Um, and it's, like, I... I, like, cringe when people always talk about, like, moving. Like, yes. Okay, the, I will say the weather is, like, amazing here. Like, I don't know if I could, like, put up the, with the weather, like, anywhere else. But, like, I just, like, can't. I hate being from somewhere that has, like, hype. Like, I hate everyone's like, I'm going to move to California. Like, why are you guys moving here? You guys are moving from, like, beautiful ass states. Like, I saw one girl move here from Montana. I'm like, <laughs> you live in Montana. You live in like the prettiest place ever and you like want to come here like you you moved you literally moved to la you moved to l girl you're gonna want to go back and that's what happens with these people i'm serious they move from places like i don't know like there's so many places um a lot of people texas like um lots of people pennsylvania like they all end up regretting it they literally all end up regretting it and not only just like the fact that like la is like not this like beautiful place in certain areas the type of like the society that breeds in la is like it's a very materialistic place okay like am i allowed to like generalize like that like i don't even know but like it is like people there are like materialistic like california in general i no, like not everyone in california obviously but like it exists very badly in la and i think like i think like people move from these states where like like these materialistic items like in, that exist in la and stuff like what car you drive what purse is on your shoulder like they start to make them care about these things, things they've never cared about before, because it's, like, everyone, like, if I lived in LA, and, like, everyone's always has these nice designer bags, like, I would probably end up feeling like shit about my $10 Target bag, like, I'm just saying, like, I probably would, 
and it's like I don't know it really does like that place changes people it really does change people into like real people into just like that you know what I mean of course there's people who like it doesn't change them but a lot of people like change when they come here it's like true um hold on what else was I gonna talk about Okay, another thing I want to talk about, a good thing, I guess, I mean, none of these were, like, bad things, negative or whatever, but I finally cleaned out my car. Like, I had so many clothes in my car to the point of, like, you guys would be like, what, do you live in your car? So, like, now, I just have, like, this stuff, my floor is completely clean, the back of my car, it's just, like, two blankets, a jacket, and then my, like, uh, windshield thingy and a trash can, and that's, like, literally it. And, okay, that's, like, something I've been really insecure about for a really long time. Like, when I just get, like, depressed, like, my car just gets, like, dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. And, like, I just, like, I, I can't. I can't clean it. But over the past, like, week, I, instead of, like, trying to clean it all in one day, I just make, like, small steps every single day to clean it. Um, Which is what I was doing the past week. Like, I would take, like... 10, 10, 15 minutes, maybe less than that a day and just like keep going through it and like, do I want to keep these clothes? Do I want to take them to my mom's house? Like, what should I do with them? You know? And now that I broke it up like that, I feel so much better because if I would have told myself like, okay, just do it all in a day, I would have never gotten it done. Like it would have never gotten done. And the fact that I just accepted, I can't do it all in one day and it's okay to not get it done right away and like take breaks with it. Like literally, I think it, I seriously am telling you guys like it would have never literally gotten done if I wouldn't have done it like that. So if you guys are like putting off a task, cause it's going to take a long time. It's okay to take breaks in between. Even one day take to do it, take a lot of breaks in between. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Another thing I wanted to talk about, like, kind of one of the last things I want to talk about. Okay, like, what is it with, like, doctors? Like, okay. So, I was at my gynecologist. This was, like, two years ago. My gynecologist, okay? Like, my, my lady doctor, you know? And so, you go there, like, once a year. And I won't say how much I weighed because I know that, like, bothers some people or whatever. But, like... I've never been, like, an overweight person ever. In fact, like, ha mostly, like, half of my life, I was, like, underweight, actually. I'm, like, a healthy weight. Like, if you look at, like, the BMI, I don't know about that shit. But, like, I'm, like, a healthy weight, right? Like, I'm in there. And so, when I came back the follow like, the next year and saw my gynecologist, she saw that the nurse had written down my weight, like, 10 to 15 pounds heavier which I was, but that's because that year I had started lifting heavy as fuck and eating a lot of like protein. So like I was like not overweight. I was, you could look at me and tell I was not overweight. I was muscular as hell. Like my legs were, had, if I could, I don't really have photos cause to be honest, like I didn't really like the super muscular look, but so I didn't like take photos of it, but like I, my legs were muscular. Like you could look at me and tell I was a like muscular person and like I wasn't overweight. So like, but she made it such like a negative, like she made it so depressing for me. Like she was like, wow, like you, you get, you gained like a lot of weight. I was like, okay. I was like, first of all, look at me. I'm not fat. Like you're being really dumb right now. I'm not fat. Um, Okay, and b before I even keep going, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh my god, doctors can't comment on your weight. Like, I think if it's, like, from a health perspective, like, obviously you have to comment on the patient's weight. But, like, um, like, me gaining 10 pounds, what did I explain to her? I said, um, yeah, I've just been, like, working out a lot. I work out, like, six days a week. Like, I gained a lot of muscle. I've been lifting, like, heavy weights and shit. And she was like, oh, okay, I, I guess that's good. And I was like, Okay, like really all you care about is like the number on the scale like boo freaking who I don't get this shit It was just like cringe like girl. It's really it it like And you know what it was just one of those things where like she wasn't doing it from like it was not a health 
issue. She knew I was not overweight. She knew there was nothing wrong with my health. It was just literally like, oh, you gain, like you gain weight. Like, yeah, I did. And then after that, I like realized I didn't even like the look on my body. I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with her. I don't know. But like, then I lost like 10 pounds of muscle. <laughs> This woman, she triggered me to, like, no end. I swear to God, you guys. That was just, like, ridiculous. Okay, and then the last thing... Um, actually, should I talk about that? Hold on. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is, like, Instagram filters are ugly. I don't know how else to say it. I'm not just talking about the ones that are just, like, filters. I'm talking about the ones that, like, really, like, fuck with your face. Like... I saw one girl who was, like, using one, and she looked completely normal using it, and I didn't even think it was, like, a crazy filter, and then I put it on, and it had, like, blue contacts and, like, orange, like, it made me look crazy, and I was like, why does it look so good on, like, okay, like, you guys, we need to stop using filters, like, I just, like, don't, like, why do you want to, why, like, I seriously, like, if you guys don't think that that, like, creates, like, a body dysmorphia, like, you're on, like, another level, because, like, I swear to God, I will see people, and I've, I've even heard people talk about it, where, like, they've used IG filters so much that they, like, don't even, like, like, they get, like, what the hell when they're not, like, having one on, because they're, like, do I really look like this? Like, yeah, you do really look like that. Like, can't you, like, <sighs> I get it, like, sometimes you want to look like whatever, but, like, there are some people where, like, the IG filters are just getting out of hand. Like, people... Like, I don't get it. I just can't. I can't. And I genuinely don't even think they look good is the thing. Like, they look beyond unrecognizable. They look like a robot. Like, that's literally what they look like. Like, they don't look like a real person. Like, it looks... It doesn't look like... If it looked like... Oh, wait. Are they... Ha like... Like, I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't even look good. You... I feel like you genuinely look worse. Your skin is so blurred that like you you look pixelated you don't even look like a real person and like your eyes are like two shades lighter and like you have like these like lash like I don't you guys it just like it doesn't look good it doesn't look good some of them do but most of the time you look crazy like I swear you probably do look better without the filter like there you go I promise you guys you probably do so I think we need to cancel IG filters that's kind of my final thoughts on that mm. okay I think that's all for this um talk I washed my hair yesterday finally and like oh my god it just looks so good after I wash it I used to be like oh my god I can only wash my hair once a week oh wait should I take a filter like that? um okay but I'm like loving my hair color right now like there's so many different like variants going on next stop but i washed my hair yesterday finally oh my god it looks so good after i wash it like i used to be on this kick where i was like i'm only gonna wash my hair once a week like what anything more than once a week is like too much i'm not doing that anymore because my hair starts to get gross and like stringy and it looks really bad like it looks so good washed like are you kidding me so yeah like if your guys's hair is like really greasy just freaking wash it like the world is not gonna end Okay. Okay. So it's Mother's Day. Like I said, I'm going to go hang out with my mom and then I work later. Yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I have pimple patches on. Okay. Bye you guys.